If you're learning how to play your favorite famous guitar solo but not following the steps I'm about to give you, you may be wasting your time. Now to be clear, learning the solo will help you learn and improve the specific skills involved in playing the solo, but if you don't follow these steps, you're going to leave a whole treasure chest of gold on the table and within a few weeks if you're not playing the solo every day, you're going to forget it. Step one, you need to understand what key the solo is in and what scale the player is using to execute it. Let's take for example Comfortably Numb solo number two. It is in the key of B minor and David Gilmour is using the B minor pentatonic scale. <laughs> If you don't know that, then there's no way you can apply any of the riffs and the licks that you've learned to your own soloing. Step two, when you learn the solo, you've got to break it up into individual phrases and licks. You know how it is, you go to play a certain part of the solo and you can't remember, so you have to back up like five measures to get to it and then you play it right. No, 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 no. You've got to learn all those sections separately from each other. Step three, you've got to take those phrases and those licks and tweak them. Practice them, make them your own, make a bunch of different variations of each of those little different phrases and licks that you learned from that solo. Step four, take all of those phrases and licks that you came up with by pilfering that original guitar solo and shoehorn them into an improvised practice solo that you play over the changes of the song. You can go online and find Comfortably Numb solo number two backing track and just practice improvising over that solo. If you do those four steps, it's gonna dramatically improve how much you will learn from that guitar solo.